Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fetch data from MongoDB while sorting that data. So real quick, if you do need help with anything to do with this video or the series, feel free to leave a comment down below or ask me in the Warn Off Keys Discord. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can if you comment on either of those places. So with that said, let's get started. So here I have this very basic project. It's essentially just a very basic schema here and then an index file, which just connects to Mongo using a Mongo utility that we've been writing and using throughout this series. A link to a GitHub repository, we can go ahead and clone this, can be found in the video description, but if you have your own project, you can go ahead and follow along with that. Before we start writing some code, if we look inside of Mongo Atlas, we see we have three documents here, and these documents have a messages property. This one has a messages of one, 30, and then 10 for these three different documents. So we're going to actually write a query within the actual Mongo schema that's going to allow us to fetch these and sort by the amount of messages the user has. I'm also going to show you how you can limit those results to only show the first certain amount. For example, we can find the top one, the top three, the top 100, whatever we want. So going back to our code, let's first go ahead and try and fetch all of the data and not sort it just to make sure that that works. So I can say const results equals await user schema dot find, and then I can pass in an empty object, which is basically just going to find everything within the collection. And then I can console log the results here just to make sure that everything is working as expected. So if I save this and I run our code with node index.js, we then see connected to Mongo, which is this console log on line seven, but then we also see an array with three elements in it. And here we see the actual data that we saw in Mongo Atlas. So I'm going to move this over to the side here. And to actually sort something, we can add onto this find function call, we can chain a function, and we're going to say dot sort. And there's a couple different ways you can write the syntax. One of the simplest ways, if you're looking to always use ascending order, which means it increases as we go. So in this case, it will be one, 10 and 30. We can then just pass in a string of the property. In this case, we want to actually sort the messages. So we can say messages. Now, if I save this and I run the code, we now see 1, 10, and 30. Now, if I scroll up to the previous code, we saw 1, 30, and 10, which was just the order that they were inserted within the actual document. But now that we're sorting it, we see this. But what if we want to actually sort in descending order? Well, this sort doesn't just have to take in a string. This is just going to assume that we want to sort by ascending order. We can actually delete this and pass in an object. And within here, we can specify different key value pairs for how we want to sort this. For example, we want to sort on the actual messages property. So I'm going to say messages, and then we have to either pass in one or negative one. One will be ascending, negative one will be descending. So to test this, we'll use one and we should see the same results. So if I run the code, we then see one, 10 and 30. But if I change this to negative one and then I run the code, we then see 30, 10 and one. So now this is in descending order, which means it starts from the highest and descends from there. So let's say that we wanted to get the user who has the most messages. We can actually limit this. So we can chain another function. We can say dot limit. We can pass in one. Now, if I save this and I run the code, we're still going to get an array here. But as you see, we only have one result now, and that is the person who has the highest amount of messages. So first we are going to sort the results. And then we are going to limit the actual results that are returned into the results constant, which we're defining right here. And let's say that we wanted to get the top 10, we can change this one to 10. Of course, we only have three elements in our array. So if I save this and I run the code, we're going to get our three results here because those are the only things. Now, if we had 20 results, then we're only going to get 10 results back. If we had a thousand results, we're only going to get 10 results back because we are limiting the amount of results that are actually returned to us right here on line 14. And so this is how you're going to sort as well as limit the amount of results that are returned to you within MongoDB. Thanks for watching this MongoDB tutorial. If you need help or have a video request, feel free to leave a comment down below or ask in the Worn Off Keys Discord, which will be linked in the video description. If you wanna learn more about MongoDB, you can consider clicking on one of the videos you see on your screen now.